this video tutorial today I'll teach you how to create a simple photo frame effect which you can see this is what we have as a completed version and using a different image this is what I got so let's create a new document we'll create this from scratch so using 800 pixels for the width and 600 pixels for the height make sure your background is set to white let's create a new layer and let's first draw a rectangle here first we'll be drawing the rectangle make sure you have your rectangle tool selected not the rounded rectangle just the sharp edge rectangle and also make sure you have your fill pixels checked on here and let's draw a rectangle the rectangle we'll be drawing now is going to be the image which is going to be used as a mask so this rectangle will be in the image this part will be what shows the image so once you have that done let's center this up so with this layer selected control A to select the document and using these align tools let's center this in between the document here and let's deselect that control D to deselect and with this same layer control click to select this rectangle once you have that selection done make sure you create a new layer and now we'll be creating the frame for this image so with this new layer and the selected rectangle here go to select modify and let's uh, choose expand which expands the selection we made so here we'll be choosing somewhere around 22 pixels and that's a bit small so let's increase that make sure you still have it selected expand let's use around 28 pixels that's fine 28 pixels is good let's fill this in with black again with my foreground set to black I'll be using the shortcut key alt backspace which fills in black and let's deselect that control D and once you do that you can see we've got not sharp edges here on the borders on every corner here we've got a nice cut which looks like a nice frame so let's drag this layer right below the one we just created at start and let's rename this to let's call that photo frame and let's call this let's say image mask once you have that done let's add some gradient to the inner mask so that we can actually have a look at that let's double click on this open up the styles palette dialog box sorry and let's change the gradient to something more gray to white once you've done that let's close this and let's add some effects to the frame here so double click on your photo frames blending options once you've opened that let's add a bevel let's make that the way down let's say one percent is okay and let's reduce that size also we have to two pixels fine and let's change the contour here to this one it gives you a double line here okay, once you've done that let's add some glow so using outer glow set the blending mode to normal and let's make the color black once you've done that let's reduce this opacity a bit somewhere around 30 and let's increase the size not too much really just so that we have some nice effect let the spread be up to 0% and let's increase the range here a bit and let's increase this around somewhere there that's ok let's press on ok and once you've done that let's add a shine to this frame by creating a new layer and let's call this layer shine and let's mm, select this frame so control click on this photo frame once you have that selected actually I think we have let's close this eyeball for the image mask and you can see that our photo frame is completely filled up in the center also so let's delete that by going back to our frame photo frame make sure you have your photo frame selected and control click on this image mask to select the image selection here of that mask layer and just press on delete to clear off the center part here let's control D to deselect that once you've done that now let's add the shine so come back to your shine layer and let's control click to select the photo frame in the selection way now 
and let's select the elliptical mark you tool and make sure your feather is set to zero we don't need any feather here and let's use holding the alt key let's you can see that near the plus sign a minus comes so it now subtracts any selection you highlight here so let's select a nice round here so that we get a nice curve at this point and since we don't want the same curve here let's reduce this curve a bit something like that or actually let's make the circle way that's fine once you've done that let's fill this with white so with my background set to white or your foreground since I've told you the shortcuts in the previous tutorials the background set to black and the foreground set to white you would use alt backspace to fill in the foreground or control backspace to fill in the background so since it's foreground now I'll use alt backspace to fill in white let's deselect that control D and let's reduce this opacity of the shine layer somewhere around that's that's great that's fine seven percent is okay once you've done that let's bring in our image here so um, I've already got my image here I'll be using these daffodils for this frame so let's right click on this layer I could simply drag this layer straight in to my photo frame but the easier way is by right clicking or the standard way is by right clicking on this and selecting duplicate layer and it a duplicate layer dialog box opens asking you what name you'd want this to be copied as and which document would you want it in so I'll select the untitled one which is the new document I created and let's call this my image it, you can leave that as default that doesn't make any difference so once you press ok you see that that image let's minimize this is come in our photo frame here right above all the layers so once you have this layer let's open up the mask layer and let's actually apply this gradient let's actually let's um, add some shadow to this mask here well, let's do that later since we are going to remove the blending options for this I want this a complete fixed fill here so I create a new layer just below the image mask and let's merge both of them by going to the ma image mask and pressing the shortcut key control E which merges the above image to the below image so you could do that control E or you could right click on that image and click merge down which merges the above the selected image to the below one once you've done that let's make sure you have your image above the mask layer we want and by holding your alt key you see an icon appears here in your layers panel here and once you click you see that the image is masked with the shape below that so but still you have access to this image like for example you could move this around and adjust as you want the image let's say we want this somewhere around here so that's another nice effect and with this layer selected let's call this layer image mask and let's add some effects to the image we're not actually adding the effects to the image we are adding it to the image mask which applies it to that image so let's open up the blending options of the image mask by double clicking on the side here and let's add some inner glow or you could add an inner shadow but I'll be using inner glow for this to get all sides with some glow let's make the blending mode to normal and I'll add some black reduce the opacity way down up to 30% and let's increase the size a bit let's find this reduce increase its range here let's increase the opacity a bit okay once you have that let's press on ok you can see that a nice effect has come on your image using the mask layer let's add a shine for this photo frame so I'll duplicate this photo frame here by pressing ctrl J or you could right click select duplicate I'll be using the shortcut key and once you've done that let's open up the transform ctrl T for that and right click and select flip vertical so once you have the whole thing flipped press on enter and using a shift and your arrow keys bring this way straight down let's adjust that a bit here okay once you've done your adjustments let's remove the blending options here so let's create a new layer below that and right click merge down which merges this below and let's add a gradient to this to which shows this like a sh reflection so let's click on this image here which is the adding mask 
button and let's select the gradient tool we'll be using a uh, black to white once you have that mask on holding a shift key click and drag straight up actually let's off the reverse button here and let's click and drag straight up so you get this nice shade let's do that again okay once you have that let's reduce this opacity up to 50 or let's say 35 percent is okay and once you've done that the reflection is done so let's add some glow at the back side which looks like it's the frame is standing on something so let's create a new layer right behind all the layers and using our elliptical mark you tool make sure you have some feather somewhere around 18 pixels let's zoom back here once you've done that let's select back our mark you tool and let's make a selection somewhere like this once you've done that once you have that done make sure you don't have the selection in your document so let's do that again and select something nicely like this and now let's go back to our gradient tool make sure you are in the same layer let's let's use the same black to white gradient and let's just click and drag right in here make sure you drag it uh, next to this selection here don't drag it all the way down so just somewhere from here to here you get that nice glow backside you could adjust that somewhere around in between okay once you've done that I think it would look really nice to show up the reflection a bit more and now let's add some wallpaper here on above or let's add some nice neat effect so using the same way let's create a new layer and let's use the same mark you tool here and keep this somewhere around here let's add the gradient again that's too strong so let's reduce that let's do it once uh, once is good and once you've done that let's turn this let's actually use the gradient which is white black to transparent so since you want black to transparent make sure you have your foreground set to black so once you turn that you get black to transparent and then let's add a nice with the shift key I'll be using the shift key to get a straight gradient here and let's deselect that once you've done that let's turn this layer using the filter let's add some fibers to that and let's use around 20 variants make the strength way up to 1 you get some nice effect and then let's use the motion blur let's take this straight actually that effect would look more clear if you had some more fibers on since it's really a small fiber, it's uh, not really clear so let's let's duplicate that a bit here and let's join them together it's something like that so I hope you learned something from this and you could use these frames in many different ways. I'll be teaching to create more interesting frames in the later tutorials. So thanks for watching.